A great description for your gig will help get you a lot more sales. And it's particularly important if you haven't got a video or any images here that your description you really sells your gig. Now, even if you do have a video here, it's a very short amount of time. You've got less than 60 seconds. And so you really need your description to give specific details on what is the deliverable for the gig, what exactly are the benefits, uh, why do you have credibility to deliver this gig more than other people? And so those are all important things to bring across in the gig. Now, uh, this is a good example here. This is a copywriting gig. So some of these copywriting gigs are very good because to look at because this is what they do professionally. So usually they have very good descriptions that you can get a nice sense of and an idea of of what really works. So he's got a question here at the start, which is great. Do you want to sell your products or services in a vague way? Like nobody is going to say no to that question. So already I'm hooked in. Then use the result getting ad writer like me. I am now the number one writer on Fiverr with over 2000 gigs sold. So that's huge credibility. Listen, writing sales copy is not for amateurs. So he's getting you to really think about trusting him. Breaking sales records for 25 years, copywriting gurus, sold untold millions. Uh, and now here he says exactly what he does. Web pages, emails, offline advertising, you name it. Um, on five, my work is very affordable. And um, please copy you. Will, okay, okay, here we go. Here's a great one. You made me want to buy my own product. So he's keeping it, um, you know, he's not focusing on stuff that other writers I see do is, you know, it's going to be SEO optimized. He's really talking about his credibility factors here and even things that this is probably uh, someone said this in a review and he's pasted that in. And that's a very smart way to so show social proof. And here we go. He's got to give me a try. You won't be disappointed. Revisions included. I'm not happy till you are. So he's taking away the risk there, um, which is fantastic as well. So that's a great uh, description. And what I would encourage you to do is have a look at some of your competitors' descriptions, but also come across to the writing business copywriting um, and especially sales copywriting people because these guys really know how to make you buy something. Um, and sometimes the, your competitors' descriptions, it could be a technical gig, they're not really good salespeople. So don't just copy what they do. Try and come across and see what the business copywriters, especially sales copywriters, are doing. Because I think that, as you can see, this is just a fantastic example and something you can try and do yourself. Obviously, you won't be able to copy everything. But it's the, you know, I think it catches your attention, answering a question you really want, lots of credibility, and he's de-risking at the end, you know, give me a try, revisions included, I'm not happy till you are. Um, and he also says as well, he's, he's really pushing people towards to get the gig extras, which is fantastic. So he separated himself from everybody else by showing his credibility. Um, and also focusing on the results, the money, you know, it's what, not what a lot of people do. So that's it. The gig description is critical for getting sales. Another tip is as well, if people are messaging you on the inbox, they're interested in your gig, but they're not, you know, they're asking questions like, can you send me a sample? Can you, you know, do this, do that? Then obviously your gig isn't clear enough and you should add in and answer those questions in your gig description. That's happened to me a lot. People say, I, you know, can you send me a sample? I don't know what's included. I'll email them back and say, you know, I don't offer samples because it's private to the client, but what specifically do you not understand? And then uh, usually they say something specific. Then I find out what that is. Then I add it into the description. I don't get that question anymore. Uh, it saves me time answering questions and I get more sales. So that's really how to set up your description and also to see it as something that you're going to improve over time, especially as your gig changes, your gig extras change, you get messages from people, but it's really so important for getting sales.